Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Angela Brennan and today I'm bringing you sketch number three of Kendra Cards Challenge number 12. It's a challenge where you make 15 cards with six six by six patterned papers and there are many lovely prizes to be won when you partake in it. Details on how to take part is in the description below. But today I'm going to focus on one particular sketch with sketch number three, which I've been told is quite challenging. But there's a trick to it. If you want, I absolutely love sketch number three. And what I do is every time I make it, I make two cards at one time. Because I think it's easier because it comprises quite a few semicircles. So why not cut the circles, cut, the, cut it into half and make two cards at the same time? And that's what I do. I do the first card, all of it using patterned paper, and I use the Catherine Pooler set, which is paper hearts. And I make two cards with this. And I use all pattern papers for the circles. The second card, I use the same patterned paper, paper hearts, but the circles, I color them, I ink them with the colors that are recommended on the front of the pattern paper pack, which is really amazing. So the Catherine Pooler inks match the pattern paper beautifully. And therefore, all the circles, all four circle sizes, which is one and a three quarter inches, two inches, two and a quarter inches, and two and a half inches, I do some inking with that. The, I use the ink pad direct to paper method and I ink them and they match beautifully. I also make a third set of cards where I use a few different prints. I use the main pattern paper is the wrapped pattern paper. And then I also use the Lime Ricky prints, the Aquatini prints and the Rocking Rate prints to make a couple of Christmassy cards. Now the circle in the sketch you could actually put a bauble in there and I did want to do that but I didn't have a bauble that fit that particular size but that's a good idea if you want to make Christmas cards. All products used are listed in the description below for your ease of reference. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and when you do subscribe, remember to press that notification bell so you're alerted when a new video is uploaded. I've got close-up pictures of all the cards I create right at the end of the video. So just stick on till the end to check that out. I hope you give this sketch a chance. Even if you don't do all the other sketches, I think this is a really fun sketch. And I like the results of this particular uh, sketch. And I like the fact I can make two cards at the same time. But if you do want to take part in the challenge, and I think it's really fun to do and therapeutic, the sketches are a guide. So if you just take, start with a sketch and let their creativity take you where it goes, I think you can end up with some lovely sets of cards. And the thing about it is you can use any of the pattern papers you have and the sentiments are up to you. If you're running short of Christmas cards or birthday cards or thank you cards, use those sentiments and use the products in your craft stash so you can create some of these sketches. The sketches are all free and they're all available at kendracardschallenges.com. All details are in the description below. So the cutting guide to the pattern papers and the card sketches can be found there as well as all the list of prizes from some generous sponsors. You get a chance to win that if you take part in it. But in order to do that, you need to submit the cards that they create based on the sketches in the Facebook group listed below. Good luck. I hope you enjoyed the process. If you want to see a full process on how to get yourself organized to make all 15 cards, I'll link to a video at the end of this video so you can check out how I do it. I think the whole process is fun, it's therapeutic, and bonus, you end up with an, a set of beautiful cards. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care.